let's talk how to become a quan uh, realistically okay uh, before we do that uh, please uh, watch this clip okay I think I think it's harder to get into quant if you don't at least have a master's. Of course, there are always opportunities out there for 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 a bachelor's degrees and so on as well. But I think it's going to be hard. And I would even say that you know a PhD is 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 preferred in many cases. Uh, the good news is you don't need a PhD to become a quant trader. Now the recommended level of education to become a quantitative trader is master's degree. The, if you want to get into quantitative research, then you will need a PhD. Now, because of the fact that you have to go to university, I, I thought it would be good to know which universities is the best. Because when you're going to go and uh, try to find a job, the university you went to and the curriculum you had in that university going to impact uh, the chances and likelihood of you getting actual job in in the hedge fund or the prop firm of the or the market maker the the university you go to matters and because of that i'm going to show you top 10 universities in usa and the best programs uh, to become a quant and uh, each program is going to have a score the compound score of uh, the program's quality the, the university uh, and program's quality and the score is going to be calculated on, uh, based on different things and each of these things can have a, a different weight so if you want you can pause and read all of this uh, to kind of understand how we calculate the score in the 10th place you will have a cornell university uh, they have a program called master in financial engineering and the score for this program is 77 and it's going to cost one hundred and three thousand dollars to study here okay then you have a columbia university uh, they have this program called masters of art in mathematics of finance and uh, the, the score for this program is 77 this is the eighth place in this list and the the cost to study here is going to be ninety nine thousand dollars in the seventh place you have a georgia institute of technology they have a master of science in quantitative computational finance the score for this program is 80 and the cost to study here is 64 thousand dollars then you have the sixth place the university of chicago you have a master of science in financial mathematics the total score is going to be 85 uh, and the cost to study here is ninety seven thousand dollars then we have once again columbia university but this degree is more specific and more targeted to quantitative finance and it's going to teach you financial engineering it's called master in financial engineering the score for this program is 85 and the cost to study here is going to be ninety three thousand dollars now we get uh, we have gotten to the fifth place and in the fifth place we have mit one of the best universities in the whole uh, USA. You have a master's of finance and this program is going to have the score of 86. The cost to study here is going to be $125,000. Then you have in the fourth place, so top four, you have University of California, Berkeley. They have this program called Master of Financial Engineering. The score for this program is going to be 88 and the cost to study here is eighty three thousand dollars now in now we have gotten to top three so this is the top three these are the best of the best you have a carnegie mellon university in this university you have this master degree of science in computational finance the score for this program is 93 and the cost to study here is going to be one hundred thousand dollars in the second place we have barrack college they have a master of financial engineering program this program have total score of 99 
and the, the cost to study here is $42,000. Now, in the first place, we have a Princeton. They have this program called Master in Finance. The, the total score for this program is 100. The, the cost to study here is going to be 125,000. This university is an Ivy League, so they have very good reputation. Uh, they are very respected in industry, and you are very likely to get a job if you graduate from this program. If you liked this video, I'm going to create also one for quantitative research and for quantitative developers. If you are interested in them, I'm going to post them in the future. So probably you should subscribe to see them. If you like this video, please uh, press like and subscribe. Thank you.